welcome back to today's video and I'm going to show you how I make my butcher's faggots now I believe there's no real proper recipe for faggots it is just a case of what you have and how you use it so what I've managed to get a hold of I've got 500 grams of lamb's liver and 500 grams of pig's liver I've got 500 grams of just plain sausage meat and I've got three lamb hearts that I've just halved and trimmed up I normally add kidney but like I said I can't get any and what butchers used to do beginning of the week or the end of the week they would just get all the odds and ends they've got mince them all together and that was your faggots then this ramekin down here I've just got my faggot seasoning which is just mace, nutmeg, salt and pepper so what I'm going to do with this first is get all of this through the mincer well this is how it looks like once it's been through the mincer it doesn't look very appetizing at all but trust me this will be absolutely fantastic so I'm going to add in my spice mix and my seasonings I'm just going to put this on the stove now and just gently cook this out for a minute or two and I forgot to say earlier on what I'll add to this also is 350 grams of rusk it's what I call my seasoned rusk and I've just got some garlic granules in there and just some dried herbs so we're going to get this on, get this cooking, add the rusk, add the water, and then we'll just continue to cook it out. It's been cooking out just for a couple of minutes. It doesn't look like they've changed much, but they are just starting to cook through. So this will add my seasoned rusk. Give this a mix through. And it looks a lot of rusk, but it's not, believe me. We just give it a really good mix and then I'll add the boiling water to that and I'll add about a pint of boiling water. So I've just added the water to my mix now and this does smell incredible, it really does. It's still just ticking over very very slowly, I think I've got it on number one just so I don't catch any of the offal because once you start burning it, it'll taste awful. But with mine, I don't cook it fully at this stage. I'll get it so it's nice and firm, cool it down, and I'll actually mould my faggots, put them in my tray, and do the whole cooking in the oven. This is just more of a part cooked um, way I do it. And it seems to work a treat, to be honest. But it's like I was saying earlier, you can just add whatever you can get from your butchers, or whatever you, know, you gather yourself. I do this with um, venison offal to make venison faggots, and they are equally good. So if you want to see how I do my venison faggots or game faggots, just drop me a message in the comments and I'll happily put one together. Or if you want to see any other awful cookery, just let me know. So it's like I said, I'm just going to let this sit now, let the water do its job with the rust, let that puff up a bit. And then this will be took off the heat, cooled down, and then we'll boil it up and put it in some trays. Right, so this is my faggot mix all done. I've cooked it out slowly with all the ingredients. Let it cool down just so it's, um, you know, I can handle it. So what I'm gonna do now is just show you how I boil it up. So I'll just get like an ice cream scoops worth, just mold it, and I place it into these trays I've got. And these trays you can um, cook in the oven, which is really handy. And it's surprising on the amount of offal you use to how much faggot you actually produce and, you, and you'll be surprised you don't need a lot and it's a shame that not many people use the offal be it from venison or you know your pigs and your lambs but that this is just to show you but that is the faggots done and then all that will have is just a really nice rich onion gravy put over it and then finished off in the oven. So I'm going to finish training these up now. And I hope you like this video. And I hope you give these faggots a go. And I'll see you later on for another video.